<laughs> okay, so I did this story yesterday, and I think to myself, self, this doesn't seem right. That the uh, that a chicken would cost one thousand one hundred and was it sixteen dollars, something like that. Now I have been to some expensive restaurants in Chicago, but I've never seen that. Well, there's that one, the chicken, the chicken. Oh no, that's the girl and the goat. But isn't there a, another place coming soon? State aircraft are flying to Kansas and transporting state prairie or transporting prairie chickens back to Illinois. Mm-hmm. And this is a, all obviously there's there's a huge concern about this from a taxpayer standpoint because they're trying to raise the tax to per, permanently to five percent here, the income tax. Feels like the chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> now, are they, what are these? Are these cocks or hens or what are they? Uh, state, watch your mouth. State pilots have flown between Illinois and Kansas not once, not twice, but fourteen times. It says oh. here this year, take this year alone, taking prairie chickens to downstate Jasper and Marion counties. Hmm. This is uh, the uh, Watchdog dot org is writing this. Troublemakers. Republican from Forsyth, State Rep. Bill Mitchell says that this is egregious. Mitchell Long has been a budget hawk. See what they did there? Oh, they're doing a little yeah. bit of that, too. Yeah. The Calling puns, for the, yeah. the elimination of the state of Illinois' air fleet. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it ought to be pointed out that this is all happening at the same time that the basic state services are being cut. And, you know, this, and we all know what the dollars are. Now, uh, why, why, is it, why is it that the birds need – why do we need to spend this money? And, and the cost is about $1,100 per bird. To do this, that we've been bringing across on average, as according to the story. And the Department of Natural Resources spokesman did not return calls because even though that's a spokesperson, that spokesperson has decided not to do their job either. That person needs to get fired. Isn't so we've reached out. lately with some of the spokespeople's. Yeah. They, I don't, like this they sp- don't want a spokes. No. To us. Well, you know, if you become a spokesperson in the state of Illinois, it's generally because you've been fired from a better job and you took care of some politicians oh, along know. the way. Come on. You never know. And so that's 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 sometimes a, it's it's always a no work job, but it's sometimes a no show job. All right, but that's that's not. You don't here think to kids that. growing growing up say, "I want to be a spokesperson someday." I want to be a spokesperson for the Department of Fill in the Blank. Yeah, why not? All right, but first, let's figure this out. Okay. From the Audubon Society, now the executive director is Tom Clay. He's on the Super Celebrity Hotline. Okay, I like They're, the Audubon Society. They are an excellent society. Yes. As societies go. We need to know what would be the reason that this would be important to have these prairie chickens in Illinois in the first place. Tom, what's the reason? <laughs> well, hi, guys. Hey, Tom. Of all, thanks for having me on. Um, you know, this is all my fault. I'm just going to take the Oh, God, call. Tom, don't ever start with that. That doesn't wow. end well. So last, last Tuesday, I walk into the office, and we're, we're a full-time staff of two employees. I say to my coworker, you know, let's send this press release out regarding the fact that we finally have the first phase of the chicken transport project behind us. And oh my goodness, you know, we were hoping for an article or two somewhere around the state and on WLS radio wasn't, wasn't my wildest dream. So I'll, <laughs> I'll take, I'll take responsibility for it. But in this case, it's a, it's a good thing, you know. 1850, let's go back, you know, just around settlement, pre-settlement time in Illinois. They estimate there were 10 to 14 million greater prairie chickens. Okay. In the state of Illinois. All right. This last spring, during the spring bird count, we counted 62 chickens in Marion and Jasper counties. Now, Illinois Audubon, we've been working for 50 plus years down in Southeast Illinois in the Prairie Ridge State Natural Area Complex to protect habitat and increase our our greater prairie chicken population in the state, at least to try to make it viable. Uh, the bad news is, is we've struggled doing it. And this, as I said, this last spring, we were down to 62 birds. So the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, Illinois Natural History Survey, Illinois Audubon Society, we come together, we write a grant to the federal government under their, 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 um, they got a state wildlife grant or fish and game, um, grant program, the feds do, and the money is appropriated by Congress specifically for fish and wildlife. All right. Okay. All right. So then at the state level, the state then has folks like me and you who are buying our angler permits and our hunting licenses and all mm-hmm. that good stuff. The state also has some money that's dedicated for fish and wildlife that, again, in this case, has been 
applied, you know, or, or placed there by the sports people that are buying the licenses. So in neither case, from the federal dollars or the state dollars coming into this project, are they general revenue dollars? I mean, they're not our income tax and our sales tax dollars. These are dollars that were appropriated for exactly this. Well, reason. let me, okay, let me ask you this though. And here's, this is where they, you know, this is the state of Illinois, Tom, yep. as you know. Yep. Uh, and, that. right. And this is, and you know, you know the kind of crap that goes on in this mm-hmm. town. Uh, if, if, uh, if the state plane is being used, to move these chickens, mm-hmm. which, by the way, that's the chicken's fault, I right. think, but right there, that it has to fly on a plane. But uh, if, the, if the plane is being used, why? what has happened that um, uh, that in terms of the budgeting here, how, what's, the, what's the mechanism for paying off the gasoline, the pilot, the whole thing on that by, by, the, by this grant? Mm-hmm. It, we estimate the round trip cost about 450 bucks to use the state plane. And, and in, in working with the Department of Transportation and using those state plans, we go out on this is kind of, we go out on the breeding ground that's called the LEC in Kansas, out in the Smoky Hills region mm-hmm. around Salina. And we go out there pre-dawn hours and we capture the males and the females, the cocks and the hens. We capture them in the morning. We take them to a veterinarian mm-hmm. right there. We do blood work. We do separate them, them from their families. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole <laughs> auction that goes <laughs> on. There's good news yet to come. All right. But we take them off the breeding ground. We get them to the vet. We we do our we do the science on them. We get them in the crates. We fly them immediately to Effingham, Illinois, where they spend the night. They it's a welcome to Illinois party. They're still in their cages. Mm-hmm. You know, they yeah. spend the night getting ready. The next morning, 24 hours later, they are released on the breeding ground or the LEC mm-hmm. in Illinois. Okay. And, and for this project to work, that is imperative that we're able to do that, yeah. that we're able to transfer those birds in a 24-hour period and place them right in mm-hmm. their breeding activity. Well, what, 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 and, and again, I guess I mean, I'm going to represent the taxpayer no, here for a good. second no, because no, I think this is fair. Yeah, and I get this is what you guys do, and I understand that this is your, this is your, your job, and I, and I appreciate you coming on here. So but I, I don't understand what – at this point, why is it important that the prairie chicken be here? Well, I mean, we're, we definitely are going to fight for endangered species. I don't care what it is. I mean, we, we definitely believe our mission as the Illinois Audubon Society is native habitat and native wildlife. And any time things go the way of the passenger pigeon, we all stand around and wring our hands and say, what happened? The sky used to be dark with passenger pigeons. Where are they now? Well, guess what? They're gone. And, you know, and, and we feel that, that these species that were once abundant in the state have an opportunity or should at least have a chance to remain. So that's, that's kind of the. But they're okay in Kansas, right? Maybe they just like Kansas better. Is that possible? <laughs> right. And, and it's come down to habitat and habitat loss. And we get that. And, you know, and, and I'll say this in terms of our work in this region of the state, or we're all grassland in the state. Things like northern, northern harriers, which are a hawk or short-eared owls or, uh, meadow larks. I mean, there's a lot of other species that are grassland dependent that have really benefited by the work that we've done, even though we've been targeting the greater prairie chicken. So, I, I mean, I, I totally get it. I guess. Could we trade? Let me ask you this, okay. Tim. Could we trade some of these chickens for the Canada geese? <laughs> Could we send them to, to there, Kansas? That's for, There was a letter to the editor in the Springfield paper today, and actually the writer said that every time the state plane leaves Illinois to go to Salina, we should put a state lawmaker yeah, in the plane. That would be true. I would do that, that too. How about that? I would do that. I, 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 so I, I would. I, but, all right, but okay. But so, the, but you see, I and mean, then you put out the press release, and I can't. It's kind of one of those so things I'm, where it's my fault. you're it's all my trying fault. to do the right. You're yeah. like, hey, look at what we're doing because right, you know right. you're part of the do good crowd. It's like, hey, we're gonna do the right thing, and and then yeah. And it's it's mm-hmm. and then the next thing you know it's like whoa what <laughs> state plane can't you guys get isn't there a way to get either the I mean and again I, I don't want to misspend the federal money either but right. use the federal money or some aren't there some contributors to the Audubon Society that can help you offset the cost well, here we, we're actually kicking thirty thousand dollars into the transportation cost so that is a part of what Illinois Audubon is doing ironically the legislator that was talking about this and not happy about it mm-hmm. um, we received a six thousand dollar donation from the Decatur chapter of the Audubon Society toward this project, his own constituents. How many chickens do you think you're going to need to get this to, to get them to start humping and doing the right thing? <laughs> oh know. my goodness! We're all, I'm going to say the answer is three, three hundred. Three hundred. You know, right. you know, from the taxpayer perspective, let me say this too. You know, 
the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service just did this study in the last couple of years. There are 47 million birders in the United States. They're spending $40 billion annually. You know, bird watching is a $107 billion industry. Um, so, I mean, I, I, ah, oh, God, Tom, oh, God. I mean, I've heard a lot of excuses. That's the worst one I've ever heard. The, 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 uh, the bird watching industry is really in need of a, <laughs> of another prairie chicken. bird lobby. <laughs> the NRA is the bird watchers. I, mean, I, I know, I know they're there. I, I know a guy who is one. And it's like, oh. they're, they're weird. They're like your next, they're, they, oh. it's, it's like you find out they're communists. They're your next door neighbors. You know, never know anything oh. about them. Then you find out, my God, the guy's a bird watcher. Oh, yeah. We yeah. Found it's weird. All right. Uh, thank Thanks, you very much Tom. for coming on, Tom. Appreciate it. Get those right. chickens Tom, they can Tom. meet each other at the yourgeslunch.com. <laughs> Next spring, why don't you come down and join us? We're oh, yeah, down. we're all over that, Tom. On the breeding ground. Okay, thank you. No, well, well, that I would oh. do, but not with a chicken. Uh, oh, Tom my. Clay, who has an ironic name, actually, for, oh. you know, bird like clay, like clay oh, pigeon. Uh, uh, director of the Illinois Audubon Society. Really, we wish, uh, well, we wish a prairie chicken would just get busy. That's what we wish. It's a, it doesn't seem like a right amount of money to be spending.